What's the word, y'all? Let's talk about the trade. Listen, I get to put Russell Westbrook and LeBron James in the title and in the thumbnail. Listen, I'm just playing my algorithm. I'm here to talk about the Russell Westbrook trade. And honestly, I don't have a ton of say. Like, usually a trade like this will take a 15, 20-minute video. It ain't that much to really say for me right now. Maybe we re revisit this trade after free agency because I do believe a part of this trade it's free agency. But if you did not know what happened, Russell Westbrook got traded to the Lakers with two second round picks for Kyle Kuzma, Catavis Caldwell Pope, Montrezl Harrell, and their first round pick, which they also traded. The, there's a lot of trading going on in the draft right now. It's late 20s as I'm recording this. So if you see me looking up, that's me seeing who gets drafted. All you need to know is that Russell Westbrook is now on the Lakers. Now, if you heard the name Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis on the same team four years ago, you would have said, dang, LeBron James got another super team. Dang, LeBron James got another big three. I can agree with the second part. Yes, this is a this is a big three. This is far from a super team. I'm saying that. And I, I guess it's semantics. It don't really matter. If you want to call it a super team, that's okay. It's semantics at the end of the day. I just think that the name, the word super team is thrown around way too much in NBA fandom right now. Um, and I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it. So, there's a moment. There's like five minutes of time where Woj is like, hey, Buddy Hill to the Lakers is done. And Shams is like, nah, I think it's Russell Westbrook. It was a great time on Twitter. If you weren't there, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> where are you at? You have a job? I feel I feel bad for you, my guy. You need to be in the NBA Twitter sphere. So when that happened, that made me pose a really, really good question. Um, where I asked the people on Twitter, if you were the Lakers GM, should you be traded for a fit, a.k.a. Buddy Hill? Or talent, a.k.a. Russell Westbrook. There's not a sane person in the world that would tell you that Buddy Heald is a better basketball player than Russell Westbrook. But there are a lot of sane people in the world that would tell you Buddy Heald fits better on the Lakers than Russell Westbrook, potentially. And the reason we say that is because the L.A. Lakers were the 25th three-point shooting team in the league this year. Buddy Heald, as crazy it is to say, is one of the greatest three-point shooters in the history of basketball. He is. And he's in his prime right now. So I asked the question, would you rather get the fit of Buddy Hill or just the overall beacon of talent, which is Russell Westbrook? And the Lakers decided to go with Russell Westbrook. Now, when it comes to a Los Angeles Laker or a LeBron-led team that's going to win a championship, that's going to go to the finals, there's a simple formula. You have LeBron, check, Lakers got that. Have a secondary star, check, that's Anthony Davis. Have shooting and spacing. We don't have that. Yes, a major reason why the Lakers got eliminated in the first round is because of injuries, but another major reason is because the players that they had relied on to hit those open jump shots were no longer hitting that, those open jump shots. And now, they just traded for the worst volume shooter in the history of basketball. That is not an opinion. That is a fact. Russell Westbrook is the worst volume shooter in the history of basketball. If LeBron James is your best three-point shooter, you're probably... You know what I'm saying? I'm saying all of this. Take it all with a grain of salt because I wouldn't be surprised if this team breezed through the play, uh, th breezed through the regular season and made a run through the playoffs. They are super talented. Obviously, the talent on this team with this big three is amazing, right? But fit-wise is going to be a bit clunky. Honestly, it's going to be a bit clunky. One of the most underrated parts about this trade, though, like I said, I don't really love the spacing of it, but one thing that is super underrated about this and what I think may be the idea when you, when you trade for Russell Westbrook right now is over the last two seasons, LeBron James suffered the most injuries he's ever had, and that's it's not it hasn't been a ton, right? But we're talking about a player that played basically 15 straight years of basketball, and now his body is starting to break down a little bit on him. Anthony Davis has a, a long rap sheet of injuries. Russell Westbrook, for the most part, don't really have that. No, yeah, yeah, no, no. Russell Westbrook gets injured often. But Russ is going to play through those things. Every season, Russell Westbrook starts off bad. And then we find out, oh, his pinky was broken. Oh, he had a foot contusion. It always happens. But Russell Westbrook will play through it. And Russell Westbrook is the type of talent that if LeBron wants to sit out for a game and Anthony Davis have a nagging injury, and, uh, uh, Russell Westbrook can single-handedly bring your team to victory multiple times. And maybe that is the most underrated part about this. But how much of that matters... Once we get to the playoffs, right? Because in the playoffs, hypothetically, like most of the time, these players should be healthy. And 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 Russell Westbrook put on the backpack and said, I got us to get us a few games. That don't really happen in the playoffs. Over the past couple of years, Russell Westbrook hasn't been the Russell Westbrook we know he can be when it came to playoff time. Hopefully, having LeBron James on his team, this is, I was going to say this is the most talented Russell Westbrook has ever played with. Yeah, probably still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he played with KD and he played with a younger James Hardy, but this is definitely more talent, right? Let me know in the comment section. I think that's arguable, but I, I don't think I'm going too far by saying it's the most talent Russell Westbrook has had as far as a big three. Now, what I want to say, though, a big, big portion of this trade being graded has to do with what the Lakers do 
next, right? There was a report a few days ago. I don't remember if it was from Rolls or something. Somebody, a very reliable source, was like, hey, there's a lot of veterans on the 2021 market that's, that will be willing to take a huge pay cut to play with LeBron James and potentially get a, t a title for LA. If that is the case and you can sign some names, it's going to be a 40% shooter, 40% shooter, decent bench for the minimum. Don't matter. You're going to be fine. But if you can't sign that shooting and free agency, I, I, I don't love it. And listen, I might have been saying the same thing if Buddy Heald was the thing. I don't necessarily, necessarily love it. Russell, Russell Russell has a few more years on his deal. He's, he's the most paid player on the Lakers now. That's something. Russell Westbrook got the bag. But overall, I said this in my stream, man. We streamed the lottery today. I am so happy for Russell Westbrook. Because one thing I don't like, Russell Westbrook is a very likable guy, right? And I know uh, there's a good percentage of NBA fans that don't like Russell Westbrook because of his play style and yada, yada. Russell Westbrook, the person from everything I've seen in interviews and everything I see, you know, everything, he seems like such a good person, such a good man. I'm happy to see him back in a winning situation competing for a ring. If there's anything you can take away from this video, I'm happy that Russell Westbrook is going to be competing for a ring next season. But I just don't know what this team looks like when they hit the court next season. I don't know. I mean, you didn't give up a ton to make it happen. From everything <laughs> from everything we know, they were calling up every team like, yo, you want Kuzma? You want KCP? Yo, you want Kuzma? You want KCP? And you turned it into Russell Westbrook, who, though he was not an all-star this year, we all know Russell Westbrook is an all-star caliber player, right? Um, So, it's something. You might have wanted... Now, now, this is just me talking again, me rambling. Um, The alternative to this is using the money that is the Russell Westbrook contract and um, potentially signing multiple names in free agency. If the report of Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan was true, I think you'd probably rather have that for them with the, you know, them being with the Lakers other than Russell Westbrook just because it's more talent because it's more split up with two players and they probably fit a little bit more, especially since Kyle Lowry is a, is a decent three-point shooter. Um, the Lakers should be fine. I'm, like, I'm not one of those people that's going to overreact. The Lakers will probably be in NBA championship contention next season. It's the Lakers. Um, let's talk about the Wizards for a couple seconds. A lot of people thought this was like foreshadowing. Um, uh, Bradley Beal is going to get traded now. But now that it's a couple hours removed, it seemed like they're using this as like, hey, Bradley, we got $28 million in cap space, bro. We got Kyle Kuzma who said he was on the same level as Jason Tatum. Maybe he is. I know you wanted to play with Jason Tatum because y'all grew up together. We got Jason Tatum 2.0. <laughs> It's a good return. It's a fine return for Russell Westbrook, who, again, like we mentioned in the Bradley Beal video a little while ago, there's a ceiling on Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook playing together with the surrounding pieces. You get rid of that, and now you open the team up a little bit more. Uh, I still would like to see Bradley Beal get traded, but they, they got Corey Kispert on the team now, so maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. I want to see Kyle Kuzma be successful. I I absolutely hate <laughs> when, when team or, or fans of teams... Just turn around on a player. Listen, I'm guilty of it. It's hard not. If you have a player on your team that was good at one point and turned into bad, it's hard not to turn around on them. I've been guilty of it. But the way the Lakers fans treated Cal Kuzma this last season, I hope he balls out. He ain't going to be Jason Tatum <laughs> like you think he is. He, he did a lot of yapping. You better show us something, Kyle. Talking about it's hard to be consistent when your role is inconsistent. And while, while that is true, bro, you won a championship, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it's I guess it's fine. <laughs> you won a championship. Let me know what you think about the Russell Westbrook trade. Lakers fans, WL, who would you rather have? And all the other people that are neutral, let me know. Did I say anything? everything I wanted to say? It don't matter. We'll talk about this trade again in free agency.